taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. Crypto Lightsaber back with another video. We're going to talk about carbon. This is a project that I talked about a little while back, okay? And um, if you've been following the channel, you would have seen this. All right, guys. But I think now is a great time to potentially be buying this token. It's not financial advice. So do your own research. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. Okay, but one of the reasons why I like this token is this is a browser. Okay, a web-free browser boasting millions of users even at the time of recording this video. And um, I believe that this will be the main compare for basic attention token, BAT. If you don't know what basic attention token is, right, let's just uh, have a look at the BAT chart. Okay, so basic attention token is a web free browser. Um, some of you, a lot of you may be using the Brave browser. Okay, and this came from uh, basic attention token. Okay, guys, if we look at the market cap for that, that hit a peak in the last bull run, all right, at around $2.4 billion. Okay, $2.4 billion. And since then, it has come down. So we're sitting right now at approximately uh 20 253 million market cap okay so basic to attention token will be the main competitor for this okay bat you can basically earn the bat tokens by using the brave browser okay you can download the brave uh, the brave browser a lot of people use that for crypto as opposed to google for example okay you can connect your metamask and do all of that sort of stuff and it's web free okay so carbon browser token ticket csix is sitting only at a free million let's compare that again so three million as compared to the 253 million that bat is sitting at right now with a all-time high peak at let's just uh, check again at what was it market cap sorry market cap all-time high peaked at around 2.4 billion dollars okay so just imagine at carbon Okay, sitting at 3 million at the moment. If this went to a 253 million where basic attention token is right now, that could be, uh, that is a 100x from here, almost. Um, just under 100x from where we're sitting right now. Okay, guys, if you hit a 2.4 billion, that is uh, a 1,000x. A 1,000x, guys. So putting $1,000 into this could net you approximately a million dollars if it does a 1,000x. If it goes to the all-time high, what Brave Browser hit, potentially, around that mark. Okay, so this one is super cheap at the moment, okay? The price is low. You can get a bunch of tokens for cheap. It's literally under uh, under two cents, okay? And a lot of people are going to look at that, and that's going to make it attractive to buy for them. Let's just look at the price for BAT. So that is 16 cents, okay? Carbon is a uh, just under almost almost coming down to one cent okay it has had a little pump uh, over the last 24 hours all right guys if we look at the chart okay so the chart looks uh obviously you know i'm saying it looks bullish right now because it is pumping okay we've got some volume coming in i'm not sure whether there's a catalyst for that or anything but the chart is looking like um buying opportunity right now it came out with a bang it went up it listed on kucoin for example that's exactly where i'll buy this token then i'll send it over to my wallet on the binance smart chain you can store it in your metamask all right guys sitting at 13 million it says right here but that is fully diluted market cap is around 3 million okay guys so this looks pretty um obviously uh pretty bearish okay back here but right now this could be a buying opportunity to buy into this token, okay? And we're buying it because of the fundamentals. Again, if we look at the exchanges that it's listed on, let's just scroll down on Coin Market Cap, okay? Exchanges we have KuCoin, Gate.io, CoinX, obviously Pancake Swap, and Buy Swap, okay, guys? So you know, um, if this gets on more exchanges, okay, going into the bull run, I think this could be a good low cap gem token for you to be holding in your portfolio again it's not financial advice okay guys there's lots for you to catch up on this there are some comparisons to some of the competitors let's just have a look down here so we have brave once again okay um so this boasts to be faster than brave faster than chrome faster than opera which i've never used but i've used chrome i've used brave okay i've not used carbon personally um but it boasts being faster okay it's got privacy um ad block web free support rewards special features and all of that sort of stuff now the rewards token obviously the token ticker for this is csix for brave browser it will be bat as you can see okay guys but um yeah similar kind of thing um downloads to date uh, we have 
is that six, what is that, 60, it looks more like 60 million, 60 million downloads or, is, that number doesn't seem right, 60824, um, but, you know, let's just look at the daily active users, so 50,000 daily active users, I'm not sure, you know, what we're, what we're comparing that with, okay, whether that's a lot, I don't know, but it sounds like a lot, 50,000 daily active users, and you can look into all this, how you can earn rewards and so on. My main interest is buying the token, okay? Just for that initial price pump, you know, only time will tell whether this will go up and up and up and up. We don't know. Or it could just go down and down and down and down. We don't know. But ultimately, going into the next bull run, I look at this like it's a brand new token, okay? It's a competitor to something that's already out there. And it's a lot better by the looks of it, okay? If this is all true, if these metrics or these uh, um, fundamentals are true, right? Um, better than Brave, better than Chrome, or faster at least, okay, better than Opera, or faster at least, so, um, you know, there's a gap in the market for another, I mean, there's only four to compare it to right here, okay, Chrome, obviously, you know, is going to remain the big boss, the king, all right, guys, nobody's going to be taking over, taking over Google, okay, Google Chrome, okay, guys, but this is a different niche, it's web free, Google Chrome is, is, is Google Chrome web free, I don't know, Special features, you can see that that is missing on Google Chrome. It's missing on Opera. The rewards are missing on Opera. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you guys can uh, make up your mind on that. But, you know, I've talked about it before. I'm still bullish on this token. There is some staking. I'm not doing anything like that. I'm just holding it in my uh, holding it in my wallet. All right, guys. And uh, But you can come over here and earn some rewards. Okay, guys, um, the staking looks like it's a 60-day duration. So you might, oh, sorry, it's got 60 days, 90 days, 180 days. It's not something that I've explored, okay? But um, you can see that APY is 15%. It's not degen enough for me, okay? You can get a 12% APY here. It's not degen enough for someone like myself. You know, I'm looking for that degen, get in and get out kind of rewards. That's where, um, you know, a bunch of money can be made. Okay, guys, but I really I should stay because I, I am just holding the token, but, you know, I'm not. All right, guys, and, you know, I don't connect my wallet to just anything, although I do believe this is legit, of course, um, and so does KuCoin and so does Gate.io, for example. I can see this getting on more exchanges in the very near future. Um, I can see this getting on a bunch of uh, great exchanges. Tier 1, oh, sorry, we've got Bitmart as well. Okay, but I can see this getting on all the major exchanges potentially, okay, I could potentially see a Binance listing for this token as well, although there is some FUD on Binance, Binance in my opinion isn't going on anywhere, yes they've got some beef with the FCC, but if Ripple XRP could fight the FCC, Binance is a behemoth in the, in the space, or a behemoth however you pronounce that, and I believe that, you know, they've got the funds to fight the SEC. They're not going anywhere anytime soon. And really, the beef is with Binance US. It's not with Binance as a whole. Okay, so, you know, they've delisted a bunch of tokens from the Binance US website. Um, but, you know, we're still able to kind of trade them, I believe, on the... Uh, I'm not sure, actually. But um, it's all this stuff with securities and all that. I don't want to get into it, okay, guys? But ultimately... Could this carbon browser list on Binance being a Binance smart chain token? There's the potential for that as well. So again, I'm still bullish on this token. Let's check out the roadmap very quickly. Okay, so the roadmap, of course, we're in 2023. So right now we are here uh, moving into Q3. So we have a new potential central exchange listing coming. Whether that is one of the ones that we've looked at already, I don't know. Haven't been following it like that. Okay, then we've got an iOS app testnet launch, um, bridge and swaps testnet, and ADX launch, whatever that is, a, a buy and sell marketplace. And then we have browse to earn rewards testnet, uh, carbon pro launch, uh, upgradable in app with CSIX, um, new marketing campaigns, and so on. Um, Mac and OS PC app testnet launch, governance, DAO. Um, there's a bunch of stuff to look forward to on this particular project, okay, guys? And, you know, with this, this is a fundamentally good project, okay, with utility, okay? They're going to have announcements, all that sort of stuff. So when that happens, you're going to see things like this, price pumps, okay? And uh, going into the bull run, like I said, 
a lot of people are going to come in and gonna look at this. They're going to see it's got utility. They're going to see it's on good exchanges. They're going to see it's got great fundamentals. They're going to see that the price is low. They're going to see that this actually looks nice. It's got a nice website. And they've got a great community. They've got strong liquidity or decent enough liquidity. And again, it's just a low market cap degen place. So when the low cap tokens take off, I think that this one is going to get a pump. And if Web3, of course, gets good news, okay, and we get uh, bullish narratives on the Web3 tokens and, you know, um, uh, specifically, um, ex uh, not exchanges, uh, Web3 browsers, right, we're going to see this pump because there's not many to compete with, okay, there's not many. Um, again, we have Brave, basic attention token, we have Carbon, and we have Opera, if that's a crypto, I don't even know if, if, I don't even know if that's a crypto okay but we have chrome opera and then the two crypto ones that i'm fully aware of are brave and carbon so if brave pumps because of that narrative carbon is going to go absolutely nuts and this is where we're going to make the money potentially okay guys vpns if vpns pump okay we're going to get a carbon pump as well potentially okay guys so that's why i'm bullish on this project so far i'll give you an update wallets okay they've got a wallet coming they've got staking of course a swap a bridge a vpn a browser and all that sort of stuff so many things to choose from in terms of using this or to be bullish on if you're investing in this you're investing in all of these things and any one of these narratives hits um you're gonna make money potentially okay guys so i'm gonna leave the link in the description of the website and so on i do recommend you join their twitter their telegram join the community they have a very large community uh let's just have another look how much they've got 132,000 on uh sorry 135,000 on twitter alone okay and their engagement is decent as well guys so this is always what you want to look for in a strong a strong fundamental project um because oh, let's continuously leaving updates and so on um um this is from june the 15th so they're very active all right, guys, you've got the Apple um, test flight coming and so on. iOS public beta um, app for carbon and so on. So, again, it's a strong project, guys. So, let me know what you think in the comments. Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tip the little bell for notifications. Like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you in the next video.